Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today our makeup inspiration is coming from this wooden comb which I feel is simple, useful and practical. Therefore this makeup look that I'm going to do is basically simple, useful and literally practical. This is basically a break from the Christmas looks that I was doing that were extremely, extremely brightly colored extremely wild extremely outrageous and extremely out there so this is a very simple makeup look and it's a monochrome makeup look because basically um the only thing we are going to be creating with this makeup look is shadows and highlights but our base color is going to be brown just like the comb so welcome to my channel as you can see i've already done my brows and we are going to go in with that eyeshadow which is called t from the a makeup revolution palette uh, and then we're going to cover that tea all over our eyelids and as you can see it's a very simple light brown color and then as i've said we are going to create contours and highlights uh, using different shades of color so i've just gone in with a slightly darker shade in the inner con outer corner of my eye only and in kind of halfway in the crease of my eye and then i'm going to buff out that sort of dark brownish shade of color uh, using another brush so i'm just buffing out that outer corner of my eye and i'm still using the same makeup revolution palette and then we are going to go in with a highlighter shade and this one is somehow uh, bending towards gold but it's just a highlighter so as you can see it's very very shiny so that's why i'm applying it in the near the eyebrow just to highlight that area and i'm also going to use that same same shade to highlight the inner corner of my eyes and then i'm going to take my kajal uh, or basically black eyeliner crayon eyeliner and i'm going to line my waterline and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to line both my upper and lower waterline a lot of people just line their lower waterline but I like to line both and for the upper waterline I like to um, to, hide, to to outline basically the outer corner only on the upper waterline and I'm just taking coffee guys because I think I was very sleepy on this particular day I'm then going to go in with my eyeliner my liquid eyeliner which also doubles up as eyelash glue I just got this from a beauty store somewhere near where I live and then for i've put on my lashes as i've said it's an eyeliner come eyelash glue those are my foundations that i'm holding up and i'm going to mix two shades because right now i'm in between shades uh, because the sun really normally affects my skin tone so i'm mixing two shades which is the clinic uh, even better foundation in the shade pecan and i'm using the l'oreal true match in the shade 8c which is a cool shade and the pecan is a really warm tone shade so um to come up with my perfect neutral shade and as you can see it's not done badly off and then i'm going to go in with concealer and i'm going to highlight the areas that i'm um, do i'm applying concealer and i'm using the la girl pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn and then i'm just going to buff in buff that in with a brush and then after using the brush i'm definitely going to go in with a beauty blender just to make sure that everything is neat and nicely applied um, for the foundation i did use i believe a brush or a beauty blender i'm not sure but i normally like to use both i go in with a brush first and then followed by a beauty blender as you guys can see that way it ensures that i get a perfect and flawless finish and then next we are going to go in and set that concealer using powder and the powder that i'm using is the black opal setting powder and this is the shade medium uh, it's just a loose powder like a baking setting loose powder and then after that i think i'm going to do my lips i believe and then we are going to as you can see the eyes look absolutely gorgeous try and line both your upper and water line lower water line and you're going to see a difference also the contacts helped <laughs> and then i'm also going to go in with a little bit of mascara just on my lower lash line that also helps and then oh yes i'm not going to do my lips first i'm going to do my nose so i'm going to do a slight nose contour and i'm just using that uh i normally don't have a contour 
per se so i normally use a bronzer and i normally use this uh, makeup revolution mega bronzer in the shade dark and that's the one i've used to just outline my nose and basically contour it i'm going to go in with this crayola lip and cheek colors and that's the shade very strawberry and i'm also going in with another shade that also doubles up as a highlighter and that's the shade mango tango just to add a little bit of color to this look because as i said the look is pretty much monochrome um, with lots of highlights and contours and then afterwards we are going to do our lips and i love lining my lips with black liner it's not everyone's cup of tea but it is my cup of tea and so i'm just going to outline my lips with a black liner and i'm going to create those dual lips as you can see i've just cut off my lower lip instead of applying all over my lower lip and then yeah we are going to blend that black liner in then we are going to go in with this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, which is the shade Amazonian. Very much on itself, this shade is not very flattering to my skin tone because it literally looks like foundation on me. So I'm just going to uh, blend that Amazonian together with that black until it's perfectly blended, until I get the blend that I want. And then afterwards, I think I am going to go in with a gloss and i'm going to use the maybelline lifter gloss as you can see i'm basically still blending always make sure that you're blending until you get your desired blend and that there are no harsh lines because harsh lines on lips really looks terrible this is not 1999 this is 2023 so um after that we are going to apply our lifter gloss it appears that i really had a problem with blending but anyway, moving on, there's our lifter gloss at long last and we are going to apply it all over our lips. And this is the shade Crystal, which is a really nice shade. It has like brownish crystals in it. Yeah, so I really love this lip gloss. Very flattering on my skin tone. And as you can see, it looks very natural. Then we are going to set our entire face with that Maybelline Fit Me powder. And that's the shade cappuccino so i'm just going to apply it all over my face except the areas that i've basically applied a lot of product like under my eyes we don't want the concealer shade being hidden so i'm just going to buff that using that big brush that you're seeing and then afterwards we are going to apply a little bit of a blush that's a powder blush and i'm just going to apply dab 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 that in it's a really pinkish very mild powder blush and i absolutely love it look at that sheen as you can see the sheen that i'm getting is from that crayola highlighter stick in the shade mango tango it has a very beautiful sheen to it as you can see our look is coming together nicely and then we are going to apply my favorite highlighter ever ever guys if you haven't discovered this highlighter and you're my shade of skin or dark skinned try it this is the nyx hourglass highlighter and this is the shade golden hour and guys that's our final look i love this look as you can see very practical you can go anywhere with it doesn't look wild or crazy and it's just beautiful and gorgeous so thank you so much guys for watching Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, as you can see, I look exactly like the comp. Bye!